what's this? Another update series? So, oh, Jordan, you must be running out of content ideas, aren't you? Actually, no, I'm not. That's actually one I want to talk to you about. Hello, YouTubers out there. Welcome to Studio Recall. My name is Jordan Allen, and again, I have another update series. And yes, I know it looks like it doesn't seem that I'm keeping up with quality content, let alone any content whatsoever, and keep on giving you update. But I'm just going to want to brighten the whole subject. Know that there's been a couple of things happening around in the YouTube algorithm that everyone seems to be about, and there's probably a little bit more of a bigger issue. So in recent times, people have been going on about the whole restricted mode. I honestly can't give a t flying f to research because there's so many other opinions. It's just like. What are you trying to say? <laughs> so there's something about uh, someone complaining about on Twitter about the whole YouTube uh, restrict the mode thing and, and it was kind of wrong but at the same time others saying who was right and then it was kind of like <laughs> I, was, I was honestly just like okay I'm not even gonna dive into this. What I really want to talk to you about is Oh boy, when I was updating my... No, when I was posting my last update series, I went to go add my annotations in. And what annotations are, are the little cue cards that you post on screen that, um... That link to other channels or other content that you have posted. I usually do this for my outro, such as this. And I keep it like that because then it keeps a little bit more professional and any of that. I worked on that thing for so long and the fact is that YouTube's getting rid of it. It's just like, oh, why? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you why they're going to get rid of this shit. I'm being, it's pretty obvious why, but you know, let's dive into it. Now what I mean by the annotations is that there was a message actually displaying through the info and settings page which I'm currently on. But if we head down over to annotations, the ability to add or edit annotations is going away May the 2nd. Existing annotations will remain. That's, that's, that's okay, which is kind of a good thing. But in general, it still sucks that they're removing the whole annotations. Now, the reason why they're actually discontinuing the annotation service is because... So basically, YouTube are actually catering for their audience. And it's because before the world went to mobile, where 60% of YouTubers watching time is now on mobile. So meaning that majority of YouTube content, whether it be um, creators or viewers or just anyone in general, majority of the views are coming from mobile and annotations don't fully work with mobile. So that's why they wanna discontinue it. That's why they added the little cards and the eye icon instead which you can lay uh, top right hand side of the screen. Yep, I know my math. <laughs> I've actually typed in annotations into use of YouTube search bar and actually a couple of people have been talking about it. Just a few people. Hasn't uproared in a massive trend. I don't know if it will, but more than likely when the drop dates finally hit, a lot of people will be trending. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a funny feeling this is going to turn into a trend and people are going to bitch about it even more. Now, my thing is, instead of taking away something that's good, they should really improve it so it works for mobile as well. Now, that's easier said than done. I'm not a web page engineer slash designer or whatever the, the term is. Like, I'm not a degree in professional web, web page design or coding web page for that matter. So, it would definitely, for that kind of scale, it would definitely take time, resources, and management as well. So I do understand for that type of part. Why is my thing flashing? But anyway, it does kind of suck that they're removing it instead of fixing it in general. Now here's the thing, which kind of sucks. Now, no, this is definitely gonna affect other YouTubers because a lot, a lot of, majority of like YouTube content uses either annotations or... There's been so many interruptions in this one episode. Like, Jesus, people have been coming in and out of my room, people have been walking out, people have been talking. Uh, Card filled up, John stands nothing on it. <sighs> anyway, where was I? Hopefully I wasn't somewhere where it's very important I should have continued on. So I'm just gonna start from a certain point where I left it off. In general, this does suck for a lot of YouTubers. I mean, a lot of people use annotations for a lot of their content. Know that instead of taking away something, they should really take time to improvement. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a web page designer or an engineer or I don't even know how to, how to code.
code or website whatsoever. So I, I am well aware that it will definitely take resources and management and it would take time to improve it as well. I know that within the deadline as well, within May the 2nd and shit, so... But at the same time, if they want to make this a good, if they want to make this the best video publishing website there is on the internet, then they've really got to stick up the game because YouTube have done a couple of danky moves in the past and there's probably going to be another one in their books. Know that there's definitely going to be in the future, which a lot of people were explaining before, such as Casey Neistat recently, he said that there will be other websites gunning for the YouTube spot. So who knows, maybe another website might come along and knock YouTube out of their place. But at the same time, it does kind of suck because um, there's that certain content out there where it's like a choice of videos you watch, such as the most recent one I've actually found, which was A Date with Markiplier. He's basically made a private pay a playlist that no one else can view in the, his playlist on his channel. But... At the end of his videos, here we go. At the end of his video, he's got two annotations where it's like a choice you make. You either pay him, don't pay him, and the story continues on from there. Not spoiling the ending. Have a go at it, it's fun. But um, yeah, basically that kind of, after May the 2nd, that content's not gonna exist anymore because there's no option. Because with, I know with end cards and um, the little eye icon, I don't think you can do those kind of two option things, unfortunately. I don't think you can. I um, don't, I don't think it's possible. I'm not aware because I haven't actually used the end cards, but I'll have a little dick around tonight. But anyway, yeah, after May 2nd, this type of content where you choose your own video and your own story to take within um, the creator's content, which was actually a smart move and a smart idea, and it's, it's very creative. I know that Freddie Wong, he did it for a couple of his videos, you know, is a set storyline, you can either choose the ending, but with Markiplier, he took it a one step further, and it's basically you choose your own path throughout the story to take, which is honestly a really smart idea. Now, Mark, if you're watching this, sorry for copying your content, I really do apologize. Anyway, that's all I really want to talk about, about annotations, and that I'll be changing my outro and making a better one, finally. <laughs> but I'm still going to run with annotations to a certain point until my outro changes. I'll say that into another video, which will most likely be next week. Alright, on to the next part of the video. Start recording there, because Christ is giving me a headache. Anyway, back to the thing. i got a couple things to discuss on what's going to be happening. I really gotta figure out like a background, like it's just too wide for the lens and music and everything. And too small for actually where actually everything looks displayed and all, so really gotta figure that thing out. So anyway. But anyway, now on to some real updates. So this kind of well besides the whole little rant thing I just posted out, it wasn't really a rant at all, it's just you know, just an informing thing and who knows what happens in the future. But what I kind of want to, what I kind of want to talk about is what kind of content I'll be posting on the holidays. So it's I'm only okay. I've only planned it up for the, f the first week. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the second week because it's a bit too far out ahead. Now that like three videos and one I can plan and gives me a little bit more time research. So um, I, I believe in the last vlog slash update maybe I posted a date for the. For the short film I was actually releasing. Now that didn't happen due to a couple of sacks I was having. I had no time to write up a storyboard and I was studying the week and I was just like, crap. <laughs> but yeah, that was kind of my fault. I really should have managed my time recently. So definitely on the Tuesday, the first Tuesday, there'll be a short film. On the Thursday, I'll be going down to Melbourne and going down somewhere. So it's going to be a bit of a vlog. I'm also going to invite my friend along because we're actually going to have, we're just going to be stuffed around in Melbourne. So. See what happens then, and then the Saturday, which I'm hoping the place is open on Saturday, is most likely going to be me going paintballing. Now I've recently got involved in a lot of paintballing by watching tons of paintball videos and like, ah, oh, I'm finally 18 in Australia, I can do paintball without a license, I think, at, th at this place, I think, I hope. <laughs> so... I'm hoping just to figure out that camera for the side view, which actually I've kind of figured it out. Actually, I'll show you real quickly what I've done for it. But basically, um, there's going to be actually painful content. And actually, no, what i got to talk about what kind of more content is going to be coming down the line. So, most likely in the second week, I'm actually going to be doing a product review of something. I'm not sure what, but of something. 
No! I broke it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Can I put it back in place, maybe? Oh, it's tough, but I think I can. Oh, yes, I can. F yeah, now it's just gonna be really gentle now. See, there was a little nub thing. I, like, I can twist that freely, so... Ah, oh, I've kind of improved it, kind of broke it, but hopefully... I mean, it's not coming out. Oh, it's just keep on coming out. But anyway, we all know that Sony action camera products don't exactly work with GoPro, so I had to find a little thing. I actually had this a while ago, and then uh, I brought it with like a mounted bar mount, and I was like, oh, I don't really need this with my GoPro, so I chucked it in my drawer. Thank f I didn't actually chuck it out, because now I can look more... Even more, oh, well, it used to be on the right, but I can look even more of a dork and have it on the side because you know Sony's lovely. I did have a look at the, um, I know my hair's floofed up. I did have a look at the mounted, um, the mounted head strap for the Sony, but like I don't want to be spending that much for something I already have. And, then, and I was like, there's got to be a way I can make it work, and ta da! So basically, this is just me doing a test for the check to see what this angle looks like, because this is most likely going to be the angle I'm going to be using for paintball. And by f spitting fire, then. But anyway, I just took a little bit of clips, you know, walking and stuff, riding my bike, holding the gun, see what it actually looks like. And by the way, it's meant to be on the right side, not the left side, but you know, I, I put it there. But anyway. Hope you enjoy these few little clips. On that note, that's actually about it. That's it for this kind of update. So basically, I just kind of went over new content and the whole new annotation thing. So expect more stuff to be coming out in the holidays. I actually really want to get outside and do a lot more because I know seeing me in the room is kind of getting a bit tedious and boring. I should do more. But I still want to keep school above YouTube. Even though YouTube's fun and all, education versus YouTube, it's yeah, I kind of need education, which I got into the argument in the last update series. So, I'm trying not to make this as a weekly thing of just doing little update things of what I'm going to do and not doing anything. It's just that I have a couple of sacks coming up and I need to study for them. I don't have enough time to actually go out and plan like an extra vlog. Or I should do a short film, which I actually promised, which I didn't because I'm sorry and I'm Idiot. But anyway, so I can continue with my old. So basically, I'm just gonna continue with my old outro until my outro changes. I gotta look up how to use um the end card things. So they look a bit weird and interesting. But so thank you all so much for watching. Click the links and annotations for more videos that I've done. Like, comment, and subscribe today. Now, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Woo! <laughs> Man, I like doing that.